Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of VX Factor Live, coming to you from VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. I have Jacob Arling with us today. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the VX Factor Live. Uh, happy to have Jacob Arling with us today from Pacific Energy Concepts. They're a fellow uh, tenant here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. So for the benefit of our audience, uh, tell us a little bit, maybe just uh, something about your background, and then we'll talk about Pacific Energy Concepts and what you guys do. Sure. Well, first of all, I appreciate you having me on here today, Mark. Um, certainly was, was happy to hear that we had the opportunity to come and speak. Um, a little bit about myself. I actually uh, actually grew up in Ohio. I uh, went to Ohio State University, uh, graduated from there back in 2014, and moved to Dallas three years ago. Um, through some previous company experience, met a met a lovely lady that, that brought me down here, and she's now my fiance. And, oh, cool! Congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> yep. So it's always uh, a woman, right? Oh, <laughs> always, always is right. Um, so yeah, been with Pacific Energy Concepts uh, a little over a year, okay. and uh, I think we're doing some good things. So excited to be a part of it. Awesome. Well, we uh, it was interesting because we met a couple of your colleagues uh, mm -hmm. when we first came to uh, VentureX. And uh, I was really uh, excited to hear about what you guys are doing in, in the lighting space because I'm a big proponent of uh, the you know environment and For trying sure. trying to get to that kind of zero waste you know kind of goal. <laughs> Absolutely. And especially on an industrial scale, I know that lighting traditionally is one of the biggest like draws as far as uh, a business's expenses with, you know, energy and replacing bulbs and that kind of thing. Sure. So why don't you explain for us uh, some of your um, kind of value add benefit, you know, differentiators as far as the type of uh, lighting services you guys provide? Sure. So I think it's probably easiest to just start with we are at its core. We are an energy consultancy that delivers impact and value to our customers by designing custom lighting projects uh, based upon the business objectives that they've set in place. Mm. So I think what makes us a little different than a lot of folks uh, that propose lighting solutions is traditionally uh, most folks that do that are going to be representing a handful of suppliers and are therefore beholden to um, a couple different brands that they have to that they have to choose from. Mm. Where we're set up as actually a, a manufacturer vendor agnostic design consultancy freeing us up to really use anybody out there in the market space depending on what it is that our customers want to achieve. Um, so that really gives us a lot of flexibility with the designs that we're able to, to put together. But um, I think you hit the nail on the head with a lot of folks recognize that there's an opportunity there to, to minimize waste, um, to, to reduce energy consumption, to, uh, to just add a lot of ancillary benefits outside of just uh, turning the lights on and off every day. Mm -hmm. um, and so there, there's a large appetite out there for it right now, and, and we're certainly trying to provide the value to our customers. Um, so at the end of the day, they're happy with the results. So are there any, um, any particular industries that are kind of like your sweet spot or wheelhouse as far as people that you help? Yeah, I would say uh, we do a lot of work in the manufacturing sec uh, sector, uh, warehousing and distribution, um, any type of work where uh, print shops, we do a lot of work with print shops as people are, um, any type of manual type work is being done. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have a lot of success in those factors simply because they're typically a little more light level critical. Mm -hmm. um, and so outside of just reducing energy consumption, uh, we're able to provide a lot of value through the increased, um, increased light quality. Okay. So, um what I, it makes me curious now that you answer the question that way. I mean, what I mean, not to like geek out on it or sure. anything, but kind of, I mean, what's the difference between, let's say, like a warehouse and a print facility? Like, Man, we got, we want to keep this to 20 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the biggest difference is just that based on the type of work that's being done, there are different recommended light levels which are deemed adequate for that work to be accomplished. And we, we defer to a group that's called, uh, it's called the IES. It stands for the Illuminating Engineering Society. Okay. 
and they are the lighting authority that dictates what the light level should be based on different work application. So for, for a quick example, let's say you're in a fine manufacturing shop where you have employees doing quality inspection, uh, quality control, visual inspection, assembly, where they're looking and combing through finite uh, mm. Find parts, find products all day long. The light levels need to be considerably brighter to enable them to do that. They might be looking for visual defects. Um, whereas, let's say, in a warehousing and storage or distribution center, it doesn't need to be quite as bright because it just needs to be bright enough for the forklift drivers to move through safely and to be able to pick their products off of the racking and, and ultimately just be illuminated to the point that it can be safe. Mm -hmm. um, so for that reason, based on the application, based on the work environment, based on the temperature of the climate, there's a right. lot, a lot, a lot of different ways you could go. Right. And that's really the biggest value we try to provide our customers is trying to say, hey, there's a lot of ways we can do this. There's a lot of ways we can skin this cat. Let us provide you with the information and provide you with the tools to help be educated on the decision that you're making. Interesting. So, I mean, it probably even gets into compliance and like oh. OSHA and all of that stuff too, right? Yeah, certainly, so. certainly. Wow. Um, and I mean, being in the video production field, I mean, obviously we, you know, are a fan of LED lighting because yeah. <laughs> it's not a hundred degrees in here, which it would be if we had the old kind of lighting, you very know, pl so. plus very energy efficient, but, uh, color temperature as well. So it makes me interested to, to ask about that as far as, 100%. I mean, did temperature come into the equation as well? Uh, as far as Kelvin temperature? Yeah, of the, of the, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So. Definitely depending on where that's being installed, mounting height of the fixture, how close is it to the ground, mm. how close is it to the folks, and where they're actually going to be standing um, is going to play a role into what type of color temperature you're going mm. to use. So in an industrial setting, um, manufacturing, warehousing space, anything to that effect, what we're really trying to do is capture a natural daylight. Um, that's been quantifiably shown to be the most effective mm -hmm. at, at producing efficient uh, in, efficient, which efficient is, work which is what we're under right now exactly right exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, in an office setting a lot of times what we'll defer back to is is maybe a slightly softer color mm -hmm. um, just because at the lower mounting heights um, for one reason or another you know people tend to just feel that that color of the light is a little harsh right and so that's definitely something we're always taking into account when we're putting together our designs and I, I think it's 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 pretty apparent that there's no one size fits all. Right. Um, and you, you have to take into account what's being done in each individual application when we're putting these designs together. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. So obviously a complex process, <laughs> but one that you guys make easy for your clients because you have all the expertise and, and are able to bring all of that information to bear for them and, and give them best recommendations. So. Um, who are, uh, before we kind of move into the next part of the program and, and take a little bit of a break, who are uh, good partners for you guys to be able to work with? Not necessarily, I mean, we've identified kind of specific clients that you can help, but who are good partners for you guys to work with? Um, so if, those, if there's people out there uh, watching that may be interested and want to partner with you. Sure. I think we found the biggest success in terms of beneficial mutual partnerships with, um, we found a lot of success with just local electricians. Um, mm -hmm. The turnkey projects that we provide, um, they're set up in a way that we, we handle all the design, um, specifying where the fixtures are going to be, what fixtures are going to be used, lumen packages, all of those good things. However, we rely upon a team of uh, an allied network, if you will, of local electrical contractors to actually mm -hmm. come in and do the work. And so we found that Local electricians out there, if you're listening, mm -hmm. um, if, if you're set up in a way that you have your customers, um, you have your incumbent client base, it's lighting conversations are happening, they're interested in LED projects, um, however, you don't necessarily, uh, you're not necessarily set up in a way at the moment to provide those lighting solutions, uh, there's a couple ways that that's, that, that works beneficially. Um, from my perspective, obviously it helps because we're getting brought into to opportunities that we didn't previously mm -hmm. know about. So clear benefit there from from an electrical from an electrician's uh, standpoint, the benefit would be twofold. A, we're able to provide uh, a design that that most folks aren't typically bringing to the table just simply based upon the way we're set up. Secondly, 
if you're not the one providing those lighting solutions for your customers, strong odds are they're going to find that solution one way or another, mm -hmm. right? And so if they go find that lighting solution uh, externally, what you're at risk for is them using their own preferred contractors to come and do that work. Yeah. And now there's the potential for uh, for uh, a blip, if you will, in your in your continued service model with your ongoing clients. And right. so we want to make sure that other electricians aren't coming in and and somehow putting a divide into what you've worked so hard to to maintain. And on mm -hmm. top of that, you're solidifying your relationship, but also you're going to be the one getting those jobs, getting the work for those jobs. Right? Yeah. Um, so there's extra projects where you you wouldn't have previously had them. Um, and I'd say the projects that we bring you into, um, it's very, very common that once they're in there doing the lighting project, local management will say, hey, we have some other side projects that we were looking to accomplish. We just haven't got around to doing it. Right. We wanted to put a new switch in on this side of the building. And so there's the opportunity to become the new incumbent electrician there should you spark a good relationship and do a good quality job. So. Hmm. There's a lot of potential for business, um, both from our end and from the electrician's end. Mm. And I, I think that's really the strongest success we've had in terms of partnerships is, cool. is local electricians. Awesome. So if you're an electrician out there and looking for somebody, connect with, with Jacob. So uh, we're going to take a, a short break uh, and come back on the flip side. and want to talk to you a little bit about uh, how being here at the VentureX Dallas by the Galleria uh, in this type of uh, shared office, shared workspace uh, environment, how that's uh, been beneficial uh, for you guys and, and uh, your company and your growth. Yeah. But before that, uh, we're going to take a little quick break. Uh, one of the things that we do every week on VX Factor Live is we recognize local artists. Um, we are very fortunate to have a relationship with David Call Designs, and he has curated uh, a lot of art here, not only in this location, but for our studio, uh, also for our studio. Uh, so every week we feature a local artist and a different piece of artwork by that artist. Our featured artist this week is CJ Cowden, and if you notice the uh, piece of art we have on the wall, that's called Parallel. Uh, one of her pieces that's on display here at uh, VentureX. Uh, so we're happy to have that. If you're interested in any of the artwork you see on the show, please call David Call at David Call Designs, and he'll be happy to give you that information. Another really great thing is, as I mentioned, he has curated basically an art show here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. And to celebrate that, we are having a event on July the 18th uh, there's three different artists, about 20 plus uh, pieces of artwork displayed throughout the facility here. Um, so we're having a, an event on July 18th. It's going to be an open house from 10 to 4 p.m. Uh, where you can come in and walk around, view the artwork, uh, tour the VentureX Dallas by the Galleria location. Uh, and then from 5 to 8 p.m. there will be an artist reception. The artist will be here. You'll be able to talk with them, meet with them, get a little bit more insight about all the artwork that's here. Uh, so we hope that you'll come out and join us on July the 18th. Come and go. There's going to be food and drink provided. So it'll be a, a good, good, good opportunity to see some great artwork and to uh, network with other uh, professionals and see the great facility here at VentureX as well. So hope you can come out and join us. We're going to take a quick break to recognize our sponsors for today's program, and then we'll be right back with more Jacob Arlen.
And welcome back to the VX Factor Live. Uh, again, this week we're with Jacob Arling from Pacific Energy Concepts. And uh, so we talked a little bit about what you guys do, the value that you can bring for your clients and, and your uh, partners that you work with. Um, obviously, uh, this is a show that we uh, help put on and co-sponsor with VentureX. And uh, we've really enjoyed uh, being here, having our office here and meeting a lot of great people like you guys and kind of learning about each other's businesses. I'm curious to know uh, what the experience has been like for you guys being here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. I think it's been fantastic. Um, we've been here uh, since the start, really. We, we moved into the Galleria, the VentureX space here by the Galleria uh, last year in May, so a little over a year. And I think it's, there. there's, two factors that I really think play into it, to the reason I personally enjoy working in this space. And first one is just the fact that this space uh, breeds a lot of young growth oriented folks that are in here trying to work hard and, and produce positive results on a daily basis. And I think that just creates a culture and an energy that everybody's hungry and everybody's pushing and everybody's working hard in order to better themselves and further their, their own objectives and their agendas. And I think that's, I think that's contagious. I think that's healthy to be around um, just in an environment of like-minded people that, that want to push each other to be better. Um, second thing I really appreciate it is just it's, it's a very open environment in the fact that I've had several instances already where one that comes to mind is there's, uh, there's a tenant that lives, works just on the other side of the, of the divide in the, in the space here, um, but was actually just filling up my coffee at the common machine. And, uh, and she was doing so at the same time and just kind of got to talking a little bit. And uh, toward, you know, by the end of it, she had several introductions she wanted to make for me. And, and I've had coffee with those folks in the meantime now. And, um, and those conversations are ongoing. And, and I think it, uh, at a, in the near future, there'll probably be um, some business that takes place because of that. Mm -hmm. And that's just a simple... Hey, how are you doing today? Over coffee in the in the shared space here at VentureX, and just the proximity to other, mm -hmm. to other, other growth oriented business people that are looking to network just like we are. So, um, I think it's been fantastic. I think it's been healthy, and I think it's been helpful. Yeah, I mean, we've we've experienced certainly experienced the same thing as well. You know, we've already already collaborated with a couple of the other, yeah. you know, uh, tenants here. And um, I mean, even with this, you know, the, the concept of this show basically, you know, came from that because we were having those same conversations, right, with, you for know, sure. with everybody and learning about their business. And we we're like, hey, well, why don't we use that for some content, right, <laughs> and, and start making a show out of it, yeah. right? So it's kind of kind of all kind of, you know, evolved uh, from that as well. But uh and um, I mean, one of the other things, I mean, the opportunity to have this event that we're doing with all the artists, you know, and, and, and uh, so that just the community events and the other things going on, I think is, you know, provides for a really good environment, kind of a positive work environment. So, for sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, we're going to wrap up here. And so for those at home uh, viewing uh, or who are going to watch it later, why don't you give people a way to get a hold of you? What's the easiest way if somebody wants to connect with you? Yeah, easiest way to connect with me is uh, LinkedIn. I'm very available on there. Uh, my email is just my first and last name. So it's J-A-C-O-B dot A-R-L-I-N-G at P-E-C-N-W dot com. Okay. Um, and I think... Yeah, reach out if there's anything I've said that's piqued your interest or even, you know, just a, hey, how are you doing? You know, <laughs> want to learn a little bit more. Um, love, to, love to talk with anybody that has some interest. All right. And thank you for joining us this week on the VX Factor Live. Uh, we do want to let you know that uh, if you're interested in having a show like this produced for you or for your company, or if you're interested in maybe... Um, advertising or sponsoring a program like this uh, you can get a hold of us uh, we have our live streaming uh, studio here right at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria and uh, have a great subscription program that's geared specifically toward uh, small to medium-sized businesses and entrepreneurs so if this piques your interest uh, we have a video podcast solution uh, for you make sure that you also tune in uh, to our 
channels on Spreaker, on Spotify, and on Google Podcast for the uh, podcast versions of all these programs. And we look forward to seeing you next week on VX Factor Live. Have a great week.